So whenever you take photos with a Chromebook, they get stored locally, and you probably want to move those files. So let's take a look at how you would capture those images and then get them into Google Drive. So, so how might how I, I take, take pictures on a Chromebook and then upload those into my Google Drive? Well, the way a Chromebook functions is I have a little sort of finder type button, they call it down here in the corner that I can click on and I can see a few apps that I might want to use, or I can hit this little arrow and pop this up, which is important because I'm going to need essentially two different apps in order to do this. I'm going to need my camera, certainly, to take pictures, and I'm going to need this Files app. Files is just, well, where the Chromebook stores its files. So when I click that option, it opens up here, and what I'm able to see is under my files, so the ones right here on the Chromebook, I have the camera and I have downloads. Below that, I'm also seeing my Google Drive because I'm connected, of course, as soon as I logged into this device. So when I open that, I can see my drive here and I can see any folders that I might have. I'm going to show up right here that I might typically use. And if there's actually shared drives, I have access to those as well. But I'm going to want to take a picture here with my Chromebook in a moment and then drop the file into this example files folder so I can find it again later. Well, let me minimize this here for a second. I'm going to come back down to that little circle in the corner. And I'm going to find my camera, which right now here because I've used it recently, but I can also search for my camera if I needed to um, by clicking in there and typing camera. And of course, it's showing up right there in that list. So I can launch my camera app. That's going to give me my camera here in a moment. There we go. So from here, I've got photo or video. Square is just another kind of photo. And I'm going to leave it at regular photo right now and go ahead and take a picture. So with that done, I can actually see that down the corner here. And if I click on it, I am going to be able to view that photo. But I can't really do much with it from here, except maybe trash it, zoom in. I could do some cropping if I wanted to change things a little bit or maybe draw on it um, with the annotate feature. But I'm not going to be able to put it into Drive just yet. One thing I can do from here, I can click up here where I see the big ugly file name and I can give that a more appropriate name. So let's just do that. Let me go ahead and remove the current name. I'll leave image just so we all know it's a picture. And I'll say taken on Chromebook. There we go. So with that done, I'll just click away. And I'm going to close the camera now just with the X up here in the corner and close that app. Don't need to do anything else with it. Here's the little viewer app that was floating there on top of it. I'm going to close that as well. And what I can do now is go back to that files app. So I see that folder at the bottom here. And when I click on the camera under my files, I'm going to see all the pictures that I've taken, including this one taken on the Chromebook. So what I need to do now is click and drag that from this space down to where I actually want to see that here. So if I'm planning to put that into example files, then I need to click and drag. Now, if I have a mouse plugged in, of course, I would just click on the left mouse button and then drag the mouse towards the left here to place it into that folder. On a Chromebook, there isn't really a left and right. So instead, I click with one finger on the touchpad and then with another finger while still holding down the first finger over here. So that's how I can do my click and drag. And then I release that first button. And you can see here, it's going to copy that. In fact, it's already completed. So that's been moved up to my Google Drive now. If I were to go ahead and open Drive, so I can take a look at that, and I look in my example files folder, then I should be able to find my new image sitting here somewhere. So that was, see, there it is right there. Oh, I scrolled too far. Where are you? IMG, there it is, taken on Chromebook. So if I were to look at that with a preview button, then we should be able to see that image without any trouble. Let's see, two fingers to start scrolling down. 
I can get past all those other guys until I get all the way down to my image that I've taken. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. Past it. There I am. Image taken on Chromebook. So there's the file in my drive. From here, of course, I can share it with anybody. I can drag it into other folders that might be shared. I could maybe put it into a shared drive if that's where I really wanted it to go. But this file now is there for me to go ahead and, like I say, share with anybody I need to or possibly move to some other folder. So that's how I can easily go ahead and take any file, take a picture with my Chromebook and move that up to my drive. There we go for the next time that you need to move files around on your Chromebook.